When I first saw Sophia return as a nightmare, I was afraid. I didn't want her to reveal what I'd done. I did everything I could to save Hakeem. I can accept that now. But back then... Guilt, like gravity, warps our perception of what is real. His death carved out a place in me. And everyone I lose under my command only compounds that feeling. Sophia knew that. She understood that losing him only pushed me further toward being a guardian. She knew that I couldn't stand by and watch the world burn. Because in her own way, neither could she. After everything we faced aboard the Leviathan, I'm left to wonder, have I made the right choices? I don't regret all the good the city has done, or that I was a part of it. But what it took to get here, what it's taken to keep it. Our minds weren't meant for this many years. Like so many other things, we have a word for eternity. Without the capacity to comprehend what it actually means, when is enough? Enough. Maybe it's time to let go. It is done. Another of Callus's connections to the Lunar Pyramid is severed. We are poised to strike the final blow. And yet, I find myself unable to enjoy this success. It has come too easily. Only one connection remains to the Lunar Pyramid, and Callus has barely reacted. There is a piece of his agenda that we cannot yet see. I know it. To be this close and still feel as though it is but a mirage is infuriating. I will find the answer to our final severance. For now, continue your exploration of the Leviathan. Any piece of information, no matter how small, could change everything. Conquering one's demons is a noble task. There are many stories of Cabal heroes who did the same. Now, they live forever as legends. I don't want to be a legend, Kettle. Too late. Even we have stories about the great Commander Zavala. Only we do not call him that. Did you need something else? This is not a formal communication. This is a private reckoning, one warrior to another. I see. I fought countless battles where my life was on the line, won and lost them. Nothing like this. Never as hard. Ah. As I told your crow once, battles fought in the theater of the mind and heart are just as brutal as ones fought with flesh and bone. We all bear our scars, victories, defeats, some openly with pride, some others hidden away beneath layers of shameful armor. This battle was the most honest of your risen life. You won. I don't feel like I've won any battles. I just feel tired and old. And yet, you still stand. 